Hey girl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today is the day that I'm going to say goodbye to my beautiful faux locks. <laughs> it was such a vibe, it was such a look. So glad I did it for my vacation, but all good things must come to an end. And I need my curls back. Like, I'm not looking forward to taking these out, but I do miss my curls. I need them back. I got new products to try for you guys. And I'm taking a new license photo tomorrow, so I probably should look like my photo. So not only am I gonna show you how I go from my protective style and revert back to my curls in this video, I'm also going to tell you about Costa Rica. I'm back from my trip from Costa Rica with all of my subscribers, my curl friends, and wow, it was such an amazing time. So I wanna give you guys all the deets, include some footage of my trip for those of you that are curious and maybe you don't follow me on Instagram. I don't know why. Definitely follow me on Instagram if you haven't already done so at Ms. Beyond Renee. Because if you have, you've already seen, you know, some sneak peeks. But another curl friend trip is coming very soon. So keep watching for more information. Okay, let's stop stalling. Let's just cut them out. So these are crochet faux locks, meaning all of my hair is braided down to my scalp. So none of this is my hair. If you get braids, you probably like cut maybe like around here, depending on your length. But I'm gonna cut all the way up to the, the root because none of this is my hair. Technically, the way this is done, it's just looped in here. So I could go like this and just pull it out of this loop and take them out one at a time. If you wanted to keep the hair. This hair has been in the ocean, in the river, in the pool. Realistically, I'm not going to reuse this hair, but if you want to, you could wash it, I suppose, and use it again. But I'm just gonna cut, because time is money, and ain't nobody got time for that. So, <sighs> before I do that, I am trying to do like a really cool TikTok or reel, we'll see how it turns out, but I'm gonna cut it like right around here, Literally for no reason, just for the gram, and to kind of see how it looks at a shorter length, but you don't have to do this step. First snip. Oh, 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 oh it's happening. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. It's kind of fun. Wow, I look like Whoopi Goldberg. Look at that. So my trip. It was five days, but I got to go um, a little bit early with my husband, so we got to go the day before everybody got there. Mind you, I thought we were leaving on a Thursday and then I like just happened to uh, see a notification that was like, you can now check into your flight. And I was like, why would I check in two days early? And I was like, oh, we leave tomorrow. I got my dates mixed up totally wrong. And I called my husband who was at work. and I was like, hey, um, we leave tomorrow. So hope that's okay. So it started off a little nerve wracking. Luckily I'm a professional procrastinator. So I was gonna pack the day before anyways. We got it done. Our flight was smooth. It takes about five hours to get to Costa Rica from California. And Royce always takes the aisle seat because he's tall, meaning if you get married to somebody tall, you are forever stuck with the middle seat. That's something you commit to when you get married that people don't tell you about. But then nobody showed up for the window seat. So I got to stretch out with my belly. I got to spread out my legs. Um, so that was great. Having all three seats just for ourselves. Also remember, if you are pregnant, you actually get to cut the line. For those of you that know me, you know I have a very uh, serious line allergy. So I have clear to cut the line. I recommend TSA PreCheck, Global Entry. Whatever you need to pay for to cut the line, do it. It's worth it. But if you're pregnant, they let you board first. So that's always cool. You know I use that perk. So we get there and our hotel is about an hour from the airport, so it's a little bit of a drive. We check in, the weather is beautiful. We got a little nervous checking the forecast, but it was wrong, so the weather was like great the whole trip. So here's some footage from the hotel. It was absolutely beautiful. Basically everything was kind of like outdoors. There wasn't really an inside part to the whole hotel. And our room was on the third floor and there were no elevators in this hotel. So that was kind of a good to know, especially being pregnant. So, and it had two beds in the room and we're like, hmm, it's not exactly I Love Lucy. We'd rather sleep in the same bed. So we actually ended up switching to a different room on the second day so we could keep our beachfront view, 
but just have one bed. So the first day we just chilled, we ate at the restaurant at the hotel that was right next to the water, next to the ocean. We got some ice cream and then I was putting together some goodie bags for my curl friends. Um, I asked Curl Smith and Sunday to Sunday if they could send me some goodies and they did. So thank you Curl Smith and Sunday to Sunday for sending me some product. I got my curly favorites from Curl Smith from my people coming with curls and then I got some braid favorites for those coming in protective styles from Sunday to Sunday. Funny story, um, Customs was trying to take my product. I had a whole bag of all of the products for everybody and they were like, oh, uh, this is a lot of stuff. Do you think this is, like, how much do you think this is, like, worth? I was like, uh, I don't know. It, it was a gift. Not a lie. And then she was like, oh, so do you think this is, like, more than $500 worth of stuff? And I was like, mm. <laughs> this is Curlsmith, guys. Sunday to Sunday. These are not cheap products. But I was like, no, no, not de definitely not worth more than $500. These little Curlsmith minis, psh, travel size this is like 99 cent store. I just had to declare it and just sign this little piece of paper. And they let me take my products. Well, that's a look. Snip, snip, snip. Wow. It's so light. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I wish I would have done this soon. I would have made it even. That's why I'm not a hairstylist. And just kind of like get multiple use out of your protective styles. Like if you do crochet, you could cut it. You can kind of like blow dry it, make it really straight if you don't want the curls. Do I dare do a short style next? I think I'm too extra. I think I was used to my like long length. The hair flip doesn't hit as much, but it's actually easier to do. Okay, let's keep going. So now it's day two and a lot of my curl friends are going to be arriving. We're gonna start off with a welcome dinner, but we spent some time by the pool. I wanted to take some pictures, of course. They had little like lounge chairs in the pool, so that was cool. Then we went to go to hang out on the beach for a little bit. They had horseback riding. I definitely would have done it if I was not pregnant. But while I was waiting at the beach, I ran into my first curl friend, which was Naima and treated her to a pina colada because if you find me first you should get a free pina colada that's that's just how it is um i had a million virgin pina coladas on this trip and then i ran into who did we next i think it was Chantel and caprice on the beach they got there even before i did they were just living their best life and extended their trip but um yeah so i started running into people even before our welcome dinner we had some drinks appetizers by the pool it was a great time then i went back to the room to actually get dressed get cute so i could meet everybody and it was just the restaurant <sighs> scared me for a second it's so weird cutting this much off like it feels like i'm cutting off all my hair and i look like coolio anyway so with this trip when you really think about it it's, it's a little crazy <laughs> I've never met you guys in real life. You haven't met me, maybe a handful of you from like meet and greets. And I always say it's not where you go, it's who you're with. Like that can easily make or break any trip. And I'm literally going on vacation with 15 strangers. People I don't, I don't know. Like they know of me from the internet, but that's about it. So this could have gone one of two ways. It could have been crazy or wonderful. And luckily it was wonderful. So I got to say hi to everybody. We introduced ourselves. Um, told everybody went around and said what they did. I ended up having four nurses on the trip. So me being pregnant, that was nice. Cause here I, here I was, you know, at one point worrying like, should I still go on this trip if I'm pregnant? And God sent me four nurses, one of them being a labor and delivery nurse. So I was fully covered. Look at this. So our first real day all together was an optional excursion that I had planned, which was a safari boat tour. This was not included in the original price. A handful of people decided to pay the extra cost to do the extra excursion. So we get on a bus and the guy starts, you know, saying how it's gonna go. And then we realize it's gonna take two hours to get there. Didn't expect that part. Um, <laughs> so our resort was in very like a touristy area. So we had to really get to, you know, the safari-ness with the monkeys. So as we're on the bus, he also kept saying, so we're all gonna get into the raft. And then once you're in the raft, did it a raft, did it a raft? And I was like, question, um, 
by any chance in Costa Rica, do you guys call your boats rafts or do you literally mean like a raft? He's like, no, like an inflatable raft. I was like, cool, cool. Yeah, you're gonna get helmets, you're gonna get a uh, life jacket, you're gonna paddle in the river. Paddle? Yes, and there will be crocodiles. What? Here I am, very much pregnant, about to get in the river rafting ride at Disneyland without the controlled environment that Mickey had set up for us. So we get there and we just see the river. The river is flowing. I'm like, oh my God. I don't know if I should do white water rafting right now. But he said it'd be safe. He said it was really slow and chill and that I'd be fine. So you know, said a little prayer. Took my um, labor and delivery nurse, <laughs> Kate, and um, Naima who said that she'd won a canoe race before. So that was all the experience I really needed at that moment. But luckily the river was chill. It was like a lazy river. I didn't have to paddle because I was pregnant, so everyone else did the work for me, thank you. Uh, there were just little patches where it would get like a little bit fast. And then as we went on, we saw some monkeys in the trees, we saw some birds, and it was cool. It was chill, it was kind of long. I liked it, you know, something I've never done before. Then after that, he was okay, so now we're gonna get back on the bus, you guys did it. And he said, we're gonna uh, now hike to the waterfall. I was like, hike to the, this was not even in the description, a, a waterfall. And I was like, wait, hike? I'm still very much pregnant. What, what kind of hike are we talking about? And he's like, oh, no, it's not like really a hike. You just like go down these stairs. You'll be fine. Okay, we get there and it was just a set of stairs, a decent amount of stairs. And then we saw the waterfall. And the waterfall was like the coolest part. I preferred the waterfall over the rafting. And I realized I've never seen a waterfall in person before. So it was beautiful. Like we took a bunch of pictures and videos together. Um, I absolutely loved the waterfall part, so that was worth it. Wow, I went from Whoopi Goldberg to Wanda Sykes. <laughs> this is why we have to switch it up. You can't have the same hair your whole life. Cause look how different you could look. I just, I became three different people in like 15 minutes. This would be big chop, Bianca. If I like went for it. It's kind of cute though. I'm definitely look more like a mom. I think I look more sophisticated. Okay, so now that we've cut this, and this is kind of a whole different vibe that I might want to actually do one day, um, I'm just going to go like this, and then just pull it out the loop, like that. So while half of us were in a river, in the waterfall, the other half were just chilling by the pool, uh, going to the beach. Then we decided to have our first theme night. We did like a safari, no tortoise print allowed, um, dinner if you know you know so everybody wore some type of like animal print or safari print and everybody looked so cute i was so glad we did like matching uh, outfits for that night it just really made us stand out and everybody was like looking at us thinking we we're just a group of models and the funny part was people kept coming up to us and they were like oh what are you guys celebrating and we we're like our curls our hair <laughs> that's all we're celebrating our hair and i'm all for that our hair should always be celebrated Whew, halfway there. Oh, it's actually nice to see my hair again. It's really there. Got scared for a second. <laughs> um, so the first night we went to a place called El B. El B? I think it was El B. Um, and it was a place, kind of like their bar, lounge, clubbish place. But I wanted to go because they had a fire dancer performance right on the beach and our hotel. We stayed at the Hotel Diria Tamarindo and I really loved the location because it was walking distance to basically everything, all the cool restaurants people were recommending. Um, if you did want to go to like the club scene, like bar scene, you could walk everywhere. Uh, so we walked to LB and they had happy hour for a very long amount of time. Um, once again, I got a virgin pina colada, but everyone else got to get really cheap drinks that were like $4. And then the fire show started, which was epic. So because we were trying to make the most of our trip, we didn't eat there because I heard the food there was kind of whatever. I wouldn't expect much from like, you know, bar food. So then we went to this place called El, Macari El Macarito. It was basically like a food court 
for a bunch of different types of food. So you can go and get sushi, you can get crepes, you can get artesian food, you can get pizza. I think they even had burgers. The taco place was closed. A little bit of everything. So I thought that was a perfect place to go because the vibe was so cute. There was like lights, there was live music. We got to reserve a huge table for all of us to sit together. And that way people can just go and get what they want and pay separately without having to like split a check. So that was like perfect for everyone to try a little bit of something from different parts of the world, kind of. But we had a lot of birthdays on this trip. So first of all, our tour guide that comes with Trova Trip, Rocio was amazing and she went above and beyond to accommodate us. So she was the one who actually was able to reserve the table for us because I didn't know how I was gonna make a reservation for 15 curl friends without being able to use my phone and like call the restaurant. But she did all that for me. She got them to save this really big table. She even helped me get three birthday cakes for my curl friends to celebrate. Kimmy, Chantel, and Kate. So we got to sing them happy birthday. Costa Rica with Bianca Renee today with a bunch of new curl friends on your birthday? That sounds like a bomb birthday to me. So by that point, uh, this mama was a little pooped. So I went back to the hotel with most of us. A couple people stayed out for some more drinks. There was already a bar there. And we had a great night out. Whew, by George, I think we've done it. There's all of my hair, how it was underneath all that hair, <laughs> all intact. Now I gotta figure out where to start. Oh, there we go. Finding pieces. It's gonna gently pull and see what was tucked and where. Maybe I should just start unbraiding. Ooh, this part can get tricky. I think I need a rat tail comb. So I'm gonna use the comb like this, the little point, to kind of help me undo this braid. Oh, let the detangling begin. Back to life, back to reality. <laughs> 10 years later. Whew, I did it. And now I'm Diana Ross. I've been so many different people in this video. But I did learn from my last protective style that you are not supposed to then just shower and detangle your hair. We're actually supposed to detangle our hair dry, which is something that I would never, ever recommend. But when I washed my hair straight out of the braids last time, it just made all this knot together and it made it impossible to detangle. Even with my favorite detangling brush by Be Hairful, even with my favorite conditioners, nothing worked. So I'm gonna try to actually detangle this time dry first. Ugh, look at all the crusties. Cannot wait to wash my hair. Let's see, I'm gonna, let's see if I can use a wide tooth comb. This uh, wide tooth comb is from the Carlton Collective. Same place my scrunchies are from. But, okay, what day are we on? Next day, we had our first like full group outing, which was a pottery making class and a tortilla making class. Now, when I was creating this trip or picking the itinerary I wanted, I purposely picked chill things like this because I knew I was gonna be pregnant. So this was a very like relaxing vacation. So we went to this house that was like an hour ish away <laughs> we got there expecting to get like our ghost on and like make a big pot and take it home somehow through tsa but we realized it was more of a pottery demonstration so we just started having trust issues with the descriptions <laughs> on the trip because we weren't making a pot because in order to make it it's like a two-day process so we were watching someone's abuela make this pot from scratch and like step on the clay with her feet and then you have to then make the clay and then you make your pot and then you put it in the sun for like two hours and then you can like paint it and then you got to put it in the fire so there was no way this ceramic item was going to be made in time like we would have to stay the night and come back and finish our pottery the next day <laughs> so it was great and it was really educational and i really enjoyed it it's just like, just going in with the right expectation was a thing. Um, and then same with the tortilla making. Well, first they fed us, the food was delicious. The like Costa Rican food, like traditional meal is chicken, rice, and beans. So you're getting your protein. 
Um, so we all sat at the table and they fed us. That was great. That was also included. And then we made tortillas. Well, once again, we watched someone else make tortillas. And then she asked if we wanted to join. So, you know, we were helping like churn the, the corn and then we started to pat it and try to make the tortilla. But it was more like an optional who wants to join in situation versus like a, and now we're all going to make our tortillas together type of class. Luckily, I had a really, really, really dope group of girls. Excuse me. We had majority girls um, and two guys. And out of my whole 15 crew trip, everybody actually came on their own, except for my two girls from Canada. They were coworkers, so they came together. And then there was one girl who brought her husband, who was our only person that didn't have curly hair. But even he was cool, going with the flow, like <laughs> happy to be part of the curly crew. Everybody got along. And the age ranges were crazy. Our youngest person, I believe, was 20. The drinking age in Costa Rica is like 18, so he had a great time. We were celebrating like a 50th birthday. So 20 to 50, some 30s and some 40s in there, yet we all got along and everybody was so cool. People could have easily maybe like been upset that the descriptions weren't completely accurate or like been like, this is not what I signed up for, but like no, there was no drama no Karens, <laughs> nobody was like mad about anything. Everybody just had a good time. So I was just so grateful that everybody was so chill and was just down to have fun. So if you wanna come on my next trip, I just hope that you're like as cool and chill as the first crew. We had no divas, we had no egos. No, it didn't even become like clickish. Like everybody was hanging out with a different person every day. So most people came by themselves, but everybody left with new friends and we still talk in our group chat to this day and the trip is over. <laughs> and almost everybody on my first trip wants to come back for the next trip. So, I mean, only 20 spots are available for my next trip and there's possibility that 14 of them are already gonna be wanted to be taken by my last crew of curl friends. So I think that also says something that people had a great time. Otherwise, they would not wanna come back, now would they? They could have been like, ugh. Bianca's so annoying, I can't wait to get home. I don't want to hang out with her ever again. But that wasn't the case. They liked me. They really liked me. <laughs> so after that excursion, we then went back to the hotel for my curl friend workshop, where we decided to end up just doing it in the pool. And I led or hosted a curly hair workshop so people can ask me whatever curly hair questions they want. Yes, you could watch my YouTube videos. Yes, some of you get responses in my DMs or in my comments, but this is your opportunity to like talk to me face to face, tell me all your curly hair problems, questions, concerns, and we talked about it and it was a really great chill thing. I didn't want to have like a PowerPoint presentation or anything. People, we were, we were literally just in the pool with our pina coladas, talking about curly hair, sharing our struggles, sharing our favorite products, our curly hair secrets, and I think it went great. Let me know if you'd want me to do another curly hair workshop on my next trip. If you're planning on coming, of course. All right. <laughs> oh, the hair, the hair struggle. I think I'm all calmed out now. Do you see how versatile it is? And shedding wise, this is the only hair I have thus far, which is not bad for, um, you know, weeks of not washing my hair a little bit in the comb. Hopefully it's not too much more when I shower. But even if you do see a lot of shedding, I mean, you haven't washed or tangled your hair in weeks, maybe months, so don't freak out, it's normal. Now I think I wanna add a protein treatment just to add some strength to my hair. And then I'm gonna go get my Bonacro Rehab Solve. I would like to use it on clean hair, to be honest. But let's just try this. It says to use on damp hair. Um, so I'm gonna have to now wet my hair. I'm gonna just dunk my head in the sink. Grabbing the Bonco Rehab Solve. This is really great if you have damaged hair, whether it's from heat damage or color damage. I'm kind of using it just as a ah, reviver for more protein in my hair. Strengthen it after my protective style. Ooh, yes. And it smells so good. Oh yeah, the tangling is already about to be so much better. I never really thought about the bone curl having slip, 
But then again, I did already detangle while it was dry, but. Oh, this is night and day. Do not wash your hair fresh out of braids. Definitely detangle first, because this is oh, a million times better than last time. I did it. The curls are back. Hi, curls. How have you been? I missed you. How crazy is volume, though? Like, y'all saw how big my hair just was. What is this, the eighth look of the video? So now that my hair is saturated in the Bon Curl Rehab Solve, I'm gonna put it up and away, and I'm gonna get a shower cap, and maybe, yeah, I'm gonna let it sit for at least 15 minutes. Then I'm gonna hop in the shower to, you know, actually wash my hair, get rid of some of this buildup. Shampoo, conditioner. Should I show you guys? I'll take you with me. Follow me. It's now been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna rinse out my Bond Curl Rehab Solve, and now I'm going to attack this scalp using the Rizos Curls Detox Scalp Scrub. This has aloe vera, pink clay, peppermint, so it's really gonna help cleanse this very dirty scalp. And I'm kinda of gonna do a double cleanse because I'm gonna rinse this out and then go in with my Curl Smith Super Slip Prebiotic Primer to detangle and wash my hair before I add another scrub, which is the Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic Exfoliating Clarifying Shampoo. This also has really small micro like beads to really help exfoliate the scalp. Then I rinse both of these out together and I'm grabbing the Curlsmith Postbiotic Calming Conditioner. This is for the lengths of your hair but also has really great benefits for your scalp. It feels so amazing to have my hair back and clean again. My scalp is feeling great, curls are detangled. Now let's add a mask. Fresh out of the shower, now I'm going to apply my deep conditioner to get some more moisture back in these curls. This is the Rizos Curls Vitamin C Repair Hair Mask. If you don't have any Rizos Curls product, this is the one to get. I think it's safe to say that this is my new favorite Rizos Curls product but it also repairs your hair. And vitamin C is just an ingredient that I've been obsessing over, um, mainly even in skincare, but it has benefits for your hair as well. If you guys wanna see my full review on this product, already live on my channel. But back to my curl trip. Um, after my curly hair uh, like Q&A with everybody in the pool, we then had our all white dinner. So we went to this really cute restaurant called Dragonfly. I love the vibe. All the places I picked were based off of vibe. There was a DJ playing music and it was kind of like a steakhouse or a steak and seafood place and the food was delish. I think we all looked pretty darn snazzy in our all white outfits. And now for the final day of my trip. This was our catamaran day. But at this point, we all did not trust any descriptions of boats. We didn't know what we were gonna get in. We got to the beach and then there was a smaller boat that takes you to the big boat. And then when you get on the big boat, there was like a whole bar, like open bars. That was cool for everyone else. Oh, that was the thing. It was supposed to be snorkeling. By the time we got out there, the water wasn't like snorkel appropriate. So we weren't able to snorkel because we wouldn't be able to see anything. That's just based off of the currents of the ocean. There's nothing that anyone could have done to control that. So we weren't actually able to snorkel, but we did have some noodles and we just floated in the water. People were jumping off the boat. It was really fun. And we were on that boat like all day and we stayed on to see the sunset, took some pictures and just really had a great time. I think it was the perfect ending to our trip. But then we went back to the hotel for our final farewell dinner back at the hotel and everyone had really nice things to say about the trip. So everybody, can we go around and say what everyone's favorite part of the trip was? Oh. Meeting Bianca. I was like, oh my God, I've been watching her forever. I love that night we had the fire show. The whole thing, it was, like, for me, it was <laughs> yeah. just like really enjoyable, like every day. Just learning about like Costa Rican culture. The hair workshop. Because that was like golden. Really feeling the love of the curl family now. It was, it was cool. like truly authentic, was like deep moment. Yeah. Definitely like getting together with people that um, I haven't had the opportunity to see this many people with curly hair or oh, textured cool. hair in a very, very long time. Going out every night with these ladies and our little themed dress up night. 
being with a whole bunch of people who have curly hair, you know, we have the same issues and how we can just like talk about that. So I thought that was really cool, a little curly hair community. I don't want to sound like a Vin Diesel meme, but I genuinely <laughs> feel like we are family. <laughs> Even though I do not qualify, y'all oh, accepted yes, me. Having so many people I can relate to, it's so refreshing to be able to be with people that just get it, they just understand, they don't ask them, why are you wrapping your hair? Why are you wrapping <laughs> <laughs> Next, I felt, um, it's, I've always felt like I don't quite fit in with the black community, but I don't quite fit in with the white community. So this is the first time that I've been with more than maybe one other mixed person That's at a true. time. And so it's really the first time that I felt like, you know, like I'm part of a community and that yep. like I belong. And yeah. like people get yeah. me. So that was an unexpected huge benefit and yeah. all of it started with hair. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Bianca, oh, for getting us all together. And that's a wrap on my trip! Now I'm going to let this sit on my hair for at least, what's the bottle say? Oh, it's only on the box. I do wish that it was on the bottle. I'm going to leave it on for at least 15, 20 minutes. It's been a while since my curls have had some love. And then I'm going to rinse it out and style it. I think it's like 9 p.m. at this point. I've been doing my hair all day. Rinsed out that deep conditioner. I'm going to add a leave-in from Not Your Mother's Curl Talk. I haven't used this in a while. I wanted to keep it light because I did a a lot of moisturizing things to my hair today. And I honestly don't think this is gonna dry tonight, so I might have to come back tomorrow <laughs> to show you the dried result. But overall, as you can see, I had an amazing time with all of my curl friends. I loved hearing all the really nice things that they had to say. Everyone had such a great time, and as a host and a party wedding planner myself, like. Having happy guests is the greatest thing that I could have or even ask for. And I hope to see most of them, if not all of them, again on my next trip. So let's talk about the next trip. It's already happening. We're talking about July 2023, so next summer. And there's only 20 spots available. And honestly, when am I posting this video? It might be too late. <laughs> if I'm posting this when I think I'm posting this, then the video went live two days ago on Friday. And there's a very, very good chance that it filled up because people on Instagram have been seeing how much fun I had in Costa Rica. And I was getting DMs saying like, I'm coming to the next one for sure. So as of my last time I looked at my little poll on Instagram, over a hundred people said they were for sure down. Over 500 people said they were maybes. And that was just today. Not including everyone from my last trip. So there's a good chance it's already sold out, but if not, I will put the link in the description box so you guys might be able to join us because we are going to <laughs> Bali. I've never gone to Bali before. I haven't even been on a flight that long, so I'm kind of nervous for the flight. I think it's like a whole day, if not longer. So that's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be a, a very big girl travel decision for me but we're staying at two different hotels and they look so cool we have a lot of excursions planned all that's included all you need is a deposit to secure your spot so you can still sign up and be on the wait list just in case someone can't make it anymore so if it is sold out click the link and join the wait list because i'd love to travel with you next year and ended off with some hold i'm gonna grab my OG fave, the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk, Curl Activating Moose. I do want to give a special shout out and thank you to everyone that came on my Costa Rica trip. You guys are my original, you know, my OG first time travelers. That was my first trip and you guys made it so memorable and special. And this is like our thing now. Now it sounds like everyone wants to just have the same group every year. <laughs> But I do hope some new people get to join as well so we can expand our curly crew. And I'm back! The curls are back. Truth is, I fell asleep last night. So this is technically my day two hair. I refreshed it in the morning just using some more water. I had a little bit more mousse. And I think I put a little bit of my Curlsmith Shine Gel as well for some more crunch. But my curls look very, very shiny. It's so light and fluffy. I was able to put my hair like up in a in a 
bun last night or a, a pineapple felt amazing I just wanted hair like just off me just up and away but I do love my protective styles when I have them but then once I get my curls back I love my curls if you enjoyed this lock takedown slash Costa Rica recap vlog make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe my birthday's coming it's almost here and all I want for my birthday is to hit 600,000 subscribers here on YouTube so if you're new here please hit that subscribe button and if you aren't maybe you just clicked on my link from Instagram and actually never hit the subscribe button it happens it's okay I'll forgive you if you just do it right now and remember if you do want to know more about my next girlfriend trip make sure to click the link in my description box so you could at least join the waiting list if it happens to be full and before anyone yells at me about giving it to Instagram first I also posted it here on YouTube in the community tab so it's there but if you are on social media, make sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.